Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So here I'm going to explain how to do API testing with JMeter. So basically when we do API testing manually, so we will use a Postman. So if you want to automate something, we can use Postman also. So I have already posted some video with Postman automation. So we can use JMeter also. One would know JMeter and uh, one who don't have much knowledge on uh, programming. So if you know programming, you can go with rest assured. So if you don't know programming, so what to do? So JMeter is the tool, you don't need much programming skills actually. It's all like a UI based component selection. So you should know how to handle the that component, JMeter component. So basically this is a JMeter. So if you want to learn about JMeter, so uh, I will add, add the playlist in this video at the end of the video. So I already have created a video for JMeter. So if you are new to JMeter, you can watch that and come to this session. So here is the test plan. Once you launch, just click on test plan. Just add a thread group. Thread group is nothing but like uh, you can apply a load. So basically this JMeter tool people will use for performance testing. But for a difference like uh, we can use it for automation testing of API also. Okay, so use a sampler HTTP request. Why HTTP request for the API? So basically API is HTTP request only. So choose HTTP request. Even for web application loading also we'll use HTTP request only. And that also when we are loading on the browser, all HTTP. Okay, so go back to JMeter. So I have some uh, cloud-based API. So don't worry guys, I will add this URL into the comments. So, so that you can, you can also explore it well. So you can remove HTTP, okay, just keep it HTTPS. So I have added the URL. I need to add a exact endpoint of API. So getting the list user actually, this is the list user API. Go back to Geometer, just add it. Or else what you can do, you can add this into the path also. Both will work. Okay. So just check whether it's working. You need to add some listener tree. So if you want to run, you have to save it first. Something like API. Just run it. You got failed. Expected IPv4, okay, HTTP, HTTPS. Okay, I got it. Why? Right. So from here you can put just www dot. You can remove the HTTPS. It will take twice. If you see here, you can you can see the console HTTP also taking and HTTPS also taken here. That's why the problem. Okay, so just run it again. Okay, see. You can get the response. Okay, so you can check it in a different way. JSON path extractor. See, you can see it in JSON viewer also, or you want to see it as a text text also. So this is just one API. So I can clear the report. So uh, here I'm going to add a multiple API. So just right click on thread group. Just add one more HTTP request. Just arrange it like that. So here, if you want, you can rename it. For example, get, get users. So next API, uh, what we can do, we can create user. Okay, so we see this uh, path api slash users go back to jmeter just add the path so here there is one problem everywhere we need to add the same ip so to avoid this we can add one more component just right click go back to just a second there will be in config element there will be http request default so the default HTTP request. So I will just order it like top. Just add your IP here. 
uh, in the sense IP or website here. Go to get user, you can remove this here. So if you try to run now, just check the result. So get user is pass. You got the response. So we have removed the IP or server name, but still it's working fine because of HTTP request default. So if you add HTTP request default into your uh, test plan, so it always take www this request rest in as a default uh, base URL. Then it will add a path into it. Okay. So this get method also work. Let's see what the response we got. We got user details actually. So, so this is actually a post method. So here you can change method name also post method. If it is post method, there will be some uh, name and job you have to add. Okay, so go here, add name and add job. So name is Dharma, job is QA. Okay, if that uh, API is URL encoded or something, you can enable it, but now it's not required. Okay, so see, we have sent as a parameter or body data also we can send. So just enter again, name, add one more. So now you guys understood how to handle the post method as well. So if it is get method, nothing required. So just uh, we need to pass the path using get method and post method we need to change your post method and add the parameters so just say just go to the result one this is whole report clear it so there is a clear button here just run it again so get user is pass so we got the response and uh, HTTP yeah next one also pass okay so oh, like this you can create multiple see if you see I can copy this and uh, paste paste as many as I want so after that so I can just run it but here we are we didn't validate anything after run for that one we need to add a uh, assertions Go to response assertions or JSON assertions, whatever you can do. So response assertion, see the response code contain first 200. This is one. Okay. And uh, what else you can do? So I can add it in everything. For uh, Showing the failure case, I will add it here, uh, something like 400. So here I am checking 400 exists or not. So it will fail, actually it should fail. Just run it and see the report. Yeah, see one failed. Here I can see response assertions. So expected to contain 400, but it, it contained 200. That's why it failed. Other APIs are getting pass. So if you have multiple API, so if you know how to create in Postman the same way here, like uh, the element will be different. Like here you have to pass the method name and uh, path URL and server IP. If you add HTTP request, you just add a path here. And if you want to add some body data content parameter, you can add it here. And if that URL encoded, you just enable it, disable it. Okay. So for response or assertion, when you are doing assertion, I just did response assertions. So there are so many assertions. You can do JSON assertion also. So I will explain how to do JSON assertion in other videos so that you can understand very well. So how, how you can play with JSON response. Okay. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching video. Please subscribe if you like. If any anything you want to ask or if you have if you get stuck in between, please put into comments. Thank you.